What's going on, family and friends? Welcome to Reviews from the Six. My name is Cedric, but you can call me Seti Said. And you already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, become tribe. Hit the like button. Make sure you leave me a comment too. I wanna talk to you. Let's talk about this series. What do you think about it? Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Without further ado, let's talk about inventing Anna or Anna Delvey. Now, the reason why I wanna talk about this is because I'm really conflicted after watching the series and watching a couple interviews of the real Anna Delvey or Anna Storick, I think her name is. So, the Netflix series try to make it seem like she's this um, young white woman who was hated against because she was dominating her industry and she was getting over on a lot of bankers, right? Then there's the aspect that um, she was a poor immigrant that came to the U.S. and she found a hustle and she just started moving up in the ranks of the socialites and the elites, right? She was mingling with the right people. Then the other story is that um, when a lot of these bankers found out it was a hustle, they were using her to get more loans. So she was just the the Trojan horse, right? They would say, hey, we got someone who has a great business idea. Give them money, right? And they knew she didn't have any of the backing or any or anything to get these loans, right? So long story short, the series is about a woman um, who is in prison and she's getting ready to go to court. A um, reporter picks up the story and she's tired of her job. She's exhausted and she wants something new. She's tired of writing the same old, same old articles day in and day out. So she comes across these, this Anna Delvey story or Anna Storick. And she was like, you know what? This story is deep and intriguing. I think a lot of people need to hear this right then and there is where I had to pause right after watching the series and going back and just reviewing it in my mind. She turned this story, right? She's the one that got everyone thinking, oh, you know what? Anna is this poor, poor lady who's coming up in this industry of art and fashion and everyone's hating on her. They don't want to give her the same opportunities. Then she flips it. As the series goes on, you start to see everyone is looking at her as being a scammer and being a hustler, right? They're like, hold on. We don't even think you're Russian or Ukrainian, whatever she was, right? They were like, no, we don't think you're the heir to anything. So that's what she was telling people is that she was the heir to some German something, I forgot, and she had a trust fund that was coming. She was 25 years old. And a lot of people was just seeing through her, right? I mean, they were just like, no, nah, there's no way. They would say things to her in Russian and she wouldn't know what it was. Um, she was hesitant on spending money. She would never have it. Her cards were dec would decline, all this stuff. and. As the series goes on, it shows how people are turning their backs on her, right? Like the people she was supporting all of a sudden was just like, no, we want nothing to do with her once she got locked up. Also, when you watch the series, you see that she screwed everyone over, right? She scammed everyone in her circle because she didn't have money. And without giving away too much of the series, because I do want you to watch it if you haven't watched it. You just can't do stuff like that to people and then expect people to have your back. She did have like one or two day ones there. You know, um, there were times where the friends would become conflicted because, you know, the stories were getting put together. So they're like, oh, I never knew that. Oh, I never knew that. No, that's not true. That's not what happened. She volunteered to do that. So on, so on. But the entire time I'm watching, I'm just like, this is a fraud, right? She hustled everyone. And that's where I would give her credit, right? I would say that a lot of people are shaming her and bashing her because she became big on, on, on social media and none of it was true. She hustled everybody. Everyone thought she was an heir. Everyone treated her like royalty. People were just giving her money, inviting her on trips, but she was scamming all that stuff. She was high-end fashion, art. She knew everything. And then they say that um, she had a photographic memory, and that's why she was so special. So then they flipped it to where these white males or these white bankers like I said, was using her as a Trojan horse to get other loans, right? They were like, yo, you got a great business idea. You got a great plan. And that great business idea was, I think she was trying to do like a social club um, where everyone was welcome, but there was like different social classes within that club to be a part of, you know, she kind of wanted to make a home. And that was another thing too. They tried to flip the narrative where they were like, well, she was building this foundation for other homeless kids and people like her. 
but she was only building it for rich people so she can scam them in my opinion but yeah that's pretty much what i picked up from the series without giving too much away i would say again is it a scam if you believe what you see on social media? Now, I do believe there was a lot of people behind her, too. I don't know if she gave up a lot of people. Um, I don't know if she took a plea deal. Like I said, at the end, they do come down with a verdict. I'll let you guys watch a series and, and think of it. But, yeah, th these are just things I'm spitballing here because I want to know, like, what do you guys think? What is your opinion? What are your thoughts? So when I went ahead and watched um, these interviews on YouTube, she sounded nothing like the German actor. Nothing. I'm thinking I'm going to hear this German immigrant with a strong accent. No, she sounded like. How can I say this? I live in Phoenix, Arizona. She sounded like a valley girl or someone from Scottsdale, you know, like uh, like that. Right. She just sounded super fake and super weird. And you can tell by the way she responded like she just didn't care. Like a lot of people were saying she's. um. What's the word I'm looking for? A sociopath. And you can just kind of tell, like, everything was a giggle and she wouldn't stop smiling and the way she would talk. I mean, it was like night and day. Like, I would watch this series and then I would watch the interviews with the real Anna and I would be like, how? What? Huh? Where was her inspiration from? Like, <laughs> She couldn't have been following the real Anna unless the real Anna at that age, like I said, she was young, 26, spoke like that, but she didn't speak like that. I don't know. I wasn't around on Instagram at the time. Anna Dewey was huge and big, but I mean, there was a couple things in there that I watched and I was like, okay, genius girl, I'll give it to you. Right. It was a hustle. I mean, they had things in there from, you know, mental breakdowns to depression. I mean, she had all that, you know, suicide attempts everything was it a good series yes i really really enjoyed it but after watching the interviews and then sitting down and just spitballing stuff i'm like i think this was a spin story i really do believe netflix and the writer or the journalist did try to spin this into a good story for themselves right this whole me too movement or a poor anna movement you know at the end of the day she did get her sentence so i mean that's that um I guess you can say karma has her, but that's one thing too in the universe is karma always going to come back to you. But that's my impressions in review of uh, Inventing Anna. What do you guys think? I've been asking you a series of questions throughout the video, so hopefully you are leaving those in the comments section. If there's anything else you would like me to watch and review, just let me know. I'm big into documentaries, especially stuff like this. Like I said, I wasn't around the Instagram era around this time. But if you made it this far into the video, you already know what to do. Let's go ahead and conclude this thing. Hit that sub button, y'all. The vibe brought you here. Become tribe. You know. Leave me a comment on every single question I've asked about the series, about the topic, um, about this format, everything, y'all. Make sure you hit, me, hit the like button, because if you don't hit the like button, YouTube is not going to say, you know what, Cedric, we're going to share your video today. Instead, they're going to say, you know what, no one liked it. We're not going to put it out there. And then make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. I'm going to be dropping heat all year, diversifying the portfolio. You know how that is. And then also share the video to any and all platforms where you think this could be beneficial or useful. With that being said, I just want to thank you for joining me. Peace, love, and blessings.